Good morning, Galaxy of Heroes. Uh, Houndstooth. I'm about to go into a battle. Houndstooth is now farmable. I had quite a few blueprints already, so it didn't take too much. There they are. I am ready to seven star my Houndstooth, which I'll do. Then we'll go in and uh, inevitably I will lose um, just because of the way that things work. But before we do, I want to have a look at his stats because I want to see what the difference is. I've got the star to go on and I also have a gear piece for my Bosk. So I want to see what that does as well. And I thought I'd share it. So, whoa, here are the numbers here. Uh, the, the principal numbers being health protection and speed, I believe. That's what I work to. So health, wow, 86,962. Protection, 69,255. Uh, whoa. 87, 96, 156k health protection, there are thereabouts. Quite a bit. 136 on the speed. Damage, 6644, 43% armor, and 33.73 resistance. Whether all of those will change, who knows? We will see. So before I do the upgrade on the ship, what I'm going to do is just go to the crew member. Here he is, Bosk. Still I'm in an R in about that Zeta. Will I regret using it now and then not having them in reserve is is my quandary and because of that i'm gonna still abstain from giving him his second zeta here he is uh so basically the gear piece is one of the gear 12 plus pieces it's going to give 2000 health 45 agility 6 speed 60 armor 60 resistance and currently 34,400 health, uh, 56,502 protection, 258 on the speed. So he's not the quickest boss you'll ever see, but he's, he's not too sluggish. 192% crit damage because he's got a 6E mod, is it? The max mod. 75.93 uh, potency. Yeah, I'm not going to run through all the numbers. 101 armor pen, I didn't realise... He had all that armor pen. Cool. What's his armor? 40.06. So let's do this. Craft. Equip. Bing. Ooh. 666 ends the numbers. Ooh. So come back to him now. Strength 1214. Don't know, the other one's changed. Health is now 36400. And protection hasn't changed, 56,502. Speed has increased, it's now 264. Uh, and the rest of it, I didn't really clock. 43.46% armor. And 34.92% resistance. So, returning to the ship... I uh, might need to play this back to see what the numbers were to start with. Um, so, health is now 87,602. Protection is now 70,022. So, it has increased. Uh, and the combination now is 157,500 or thereabouts. And we gained one speed. Went up to 137 from 136 there we go i can do the math there an increase of of one potency 37.77 tenacity 52.77 oh all these numbers here uh damage doesn't seem to have changed does it 6693 43.23 armor and 33.97 resistance. Resistance didn't change. I, be I believe armor has increased slightly. So I've done the crew member. Now let's do 
the upgrade on the ship. Apologies if you can hear the big dog next door. 57266. Ooh. So, seven starred Hound's Tooth. Oof. We've already covered that 57266. Health. Whoa. Oh, my word. 94,085. Protection. 77,802. So that's now 171k health and protection on this bugger. Wow. And a huge jump in speed. So we've gone from 137 to 142. So it's a jump of five speed. Whoa. 142 on the speed. Nice one. Potency 41.96. Tenacity 56.96. So we lost the sevens. Damage has increased 7184. Armor 44.53. And resistance 35.84. So big boosts. Big, big boosts. Okay. As promised, there was, or it is, a battle waiting. Um, the house tooth I'm going against is three star. I mentioned that because invariably what happens is that they're the most tenacious ones that nothing tends to stick to. So the, this is the build up to this manoeuvre here. This manoeuvre here, proton missile launcher, reusable in three turns, deal physical damage to target enemy and inflict buff immunity for two turns. That This is a maxed ability. Boom, didn't stick. <sighs> I don't understand. I mean, as I say, it's a three star. I mean, maybe I, I didn't look at the Bosk. Maybe the Bosk is absolutely maxed. But look, it's just Teflon Tony. What the hell is that? Finally, we got something to stick. All right. Uh, it's not worth me doing the gauntlet protect because some facts making his entrance this is the classic some fact as a reinforcement well it cleared that deep buff very quickly though see something i don't understand the uh, maybe i'm missing something and um, uh, please point it out if i am but i don't understand how you put a a, a buff like a stun on them and i mean was there turn meter or something that gave my hound's tooth two turns? Because he was stunned and then he wasn't. And it just seems that buffs don't seem well done me using seem twice to to stick for the duration that they're meant to do. May, uh, I'm probably just half asleep still. I don't know, but. All right, so we're plodding along. We've taken out their hound's tooth. Uh, I don't mind if we lose Imperial. Oh, so here's um, a, another toy. B-28 Extinction Class Bomber. He's five star. Um, Marauder is gear 12. Uh, he was quite an easy gear. So I, I just did it. And I've, as you can see, I've maxed up the... Um, the reinforcement ability so let's just throw that in as well and then see what happens here so one of them now has days two so they're all dazed no blue coon to join the ranks yay because that would have spoiled our party all right i want rid of Spy, spy's gone. I'm just taking out the geos now. And we'll come back to uh, Phantom once they're gone. Actually, now I will do the special there just for a bit of extra healing. Um, that will give us an AOE. Let's do it with the bomber. Boom. 
Boom. Who gets the win? Come on, Gauntlet. Yay. Gauntlet for the win. So there we have it. Um, my Hound's Tooth is maxed. Bosk got a gear, gear 12 plus piece. And uh, a ship battle. Thank you for watching.